Genre Fiction Fiction tells the stories of imaginary people and events. As you read, notice how the character makes up his own world. Question of the Week How do people adapt to difficult situations? The Magic Seeds by Nicholas Campbell Illustrated by Emmanuel Ureta What lies behind the school wall? Frank wondered. Some of the bricks were missing, and on the other side a forest of green was rustling. At his old school, Frank's teachers always said he had his head in the clouds. At his new school, he was still a closed book. It was only his first day. He could hear the other kids yell, Goal! You're it! Don't cry, I'm just pulling your leg. They seemed to be having fun, but he was lying low. Jose Garcia's voice was the loudest. Jose was the soccer captain, and he had a big pair of lungs. Jose was giving Miguel Martinez a hard time because he would rather have his nose in a book than play soccer. Frank guessed he and Miguel were cut from the same cloth, but he was scared to sit with him in case he was bullied too. He wished he was more like Jose. Then coming to school would be a piece of cake and he wouldn't be planning on fleeing the place. If Jose found him wandering alone, Frank would be in trouble. Frank bit the bullet. He saw the gap in the wall, squeezed through it, and went into the garden. It felt like a wild place, far from civilization and the concrete schoolyard. Carefully, Frank explored the grounds and began to feel happy and peaceful. Suddenly, a voice shook the air. Someone who trespasses in an enchanted garden usually finds more than they bargained for. In a deck chair sat a man with a wild, curling beard and a pile of huge books. Frank knew he was intruding, and his heart beat wildly. Enchanted? He stammered. Naturally, said the man. I am a wizard, and my magic ingredients grow here. But shouldn't you be in school? They bully boys like me, so I ran away, said Frank. Who bullies you? Why? Because I'm different, said Frank. I wish that I was stronger and cleverer and that everybody liked me. If you work for me, I will grant your wish, said the magician. A spell of time spent in a garden will do you good. Look at the way the plants and flowers grow and change, with just a little sunshine and rain. Frank got to work. Tending a wizard's garden was a complex task. He weeded carefully because some plants started screaming if you accidentally pulled one up. Gathering potion herbs left his hands stinging. The work was done. That looks good, said the wizard, handing Frank three sunflower seeds. The first of these will put millions of useful ideas in your head, he said. The second makes you as strong as an oak tree. The third makes everyone like you. Thanking him, Frank scrambled back through the wall. It seemed no time had passed while he was in the garden. The schoolyard was as busy as ever. Hey! Someone's invading our schoolyard, yelled a girl. Let's see how Jose deals with him, a boy replied. Jose stomped over like a police officer. Hey, you're new, aren't you, he bellowed. Do you play soccer? Frank held the first magic seed in his hand. Normally, his time on a soccer pitch was all blunders and own goals, but today would be different. He would know every rule, every strategy. He would make Jose envy him. Sure, he said, let's go. He was just about to eat the seed when Jose passed him the ball. Leaping for it, Frank dropped the seed and to his horror, it sank quickly into the concrete. The ground began to shake. Millions of green shoots were breaking through the gray paving of the yard. Grass as green as a soccer pitch exploded across the yard like wildfire. Suddenly it didn't matter that Frank didn't know as much about playing soccer as Jose. 
The expert players were used to a hard, flat surface, and this was different. To his surprise, it was fun. Frank quickly felt tired out, but then he remembered he had lost the first seed, but the second would make him strong. In the confusion, he crept to a quiet corner. Miguel was sitting there, enjoying his book so much he hadn't noticed the soccer game turn upside down. Frank would normally hold back shyly, but after the gardening and the game, he was feeling happy and confident. He sat down and said hi. As Miguel looked up, silence descended on the schoolyard. The match had stopped. Everybody was watching them. He realized they expected him to bully Miguel like the others did. If he did it and became a bully, he would never be bullied again. If he ate the second seed, he could even bully Jose. No, that wasn't Frank. He threw the seed away before he felt tempted. Your book looks good, he told Miguel. Can I read it when you're finished? Sure, said Miguel, smiling. Hey, Jose marched over. You can't be friends with us and guys like him, too. You have to choose. But Jose didn't seem scary anymore. Oh, leave us alone a while, said Frank. Don't you have anything else to do? Bullying people gets boring. Jose took a step back, surprised, partly because nobody had ever talked back to him like that, partly because he didn't have an answer to that, and partly because out of the dusty gray concrete, a great oak tree was rising up like a green volcano. The boy sat and talked about magic and dragons. Frank told Miguel about his last seed and the wizard. I was given these seeds to change myself into someone like Jose, but now I don't think I need to. He threw it into the air. Then the pair of them ran to the school wall, but the hole was gone. Maybe you imagined it all, said Miguel. Frank turned to walk back to the school, but stopped in his tracks. Look at the schoolyard, he gasped. The place was transformed, encircled with passion fruit vines. The schoolyard felt as wild and peaceful as the magician's garden. Anything could happen there now. It wouldn't be true to say the last seed had made everybody like Frank, but everybody thanked him for the fruit trees. Somehow they knew that it was his garden. Perhaps that makes me a wizard, he thought. Anyway, he had already made lots of friends today. All it had taken was a tiny bit of confidence about the size of a sunflower seed. Jose never bullied anyone again. Frank's magic garden had inspired him to grow and change, and everyone was happier for it.